Good morning. Welcome again to the Walters Mercedes-Benz Van Center in Riverside, California, the largest Mercedes-Benz commercial van facility in North America. My name is Gordon. I'm here to show you today what's new for 2023 with the Sprinter lineup of vans. The Sprinter van family are the same sizes as last year's. The biggest changes are all under the hood, and we're going to get to that. The Sprinter vans, as you know, come in three different lengths and two different heights. So you still have this short 144 inch wheelbase cargo van, passenger van and crew van. And those are all available with either the standard height or the high roof availability. With the standard roof, you're looking at five feet, six inches tall on the interior. On the high roof, it's six feet, four inches for extra room and height. Very easy for even the tallest of workers to stand up inside. On the outside, you have the 144 wheelbase, which is considered our short van. The middle length is 170 inch wheelbase. On that model, you have a longer cargo floor. And then there's the extended body cargo van, which is the longest of all. So with the short van, the cargo floor from behind the front seats to the rear doors, you're talking 11 feet, six inches, which is great for just about all contractor jobs. For the middle size, the 170 inch wheelbase, you're at 14 feet, 10 inches long. Plenty of room for shelves, ladders, you name it, you've got plenty of space on the inside. And that applies to the cargo, crew, and passenger models. The extended body vans are the longest, and you've got uh, 16 feet, two inches long, and that one you can make into a motorhome if you'd like to. Plenty of space for sure. The longer wheelbase vans all come with the high roof only. One of the biggest changes we're gonna talk about today is the change for the four x four system. Right here, we have a new 2023 Sprinter cargo van that has the all wheel drive system. For last year, 2022, Sprinter used a push button four wheel drive system, meaning you could turn it on and turn it off and switch between rear wheel drive or all wheel drive. With the all wheel drive system for 2023, you're getting power to all four wheels all the time. There are no buttons to push anymore. You still have the same ground clearance, the same height over the wheels, and the interior sizes are the same. What's really changed is the drivetrain. So for 2022, last year, all of the 4x4s came with the three liter six cylinder diesel engine. Because of EPA rule changes, that engine is going away. That's not bad news because it's being replaced with a high output four cylinder diesel engine with 20 horsepower more more miles per gallon and lower emissions. So you're gonna get better fuel economy overall uh, and you're gonna have more horsepower on the high output engine. For last year, 2022, we still had the standard four cylinder diesel engine that still carries over to 2023. So you've actually got two engine choices this year for 2023. It just depends on what your needs are going to be. Now, with the six cylinder diesel engine going away for 2023, a lot of longtime Sprinter users have been concerned that there might be a lack of power for the big jobs. No fear. The new high output four cylinder diesel engine features twin sequential turbochargers and actually has 20 horsepower more than last year's V6. The standard diesel engine that I mentioned earlier, that one still has 168 horsepower great for just regular jobs and regular hauling. But for the big jobs, and I'm talking about the 3500 series vans, the 4500 series, series vans with over 12,000 pounds gross vehicle weight, the high output four cylinder diesel is the way to go. In addition to the uh, twin turbochargers, they're also switching from last year's seven speed transmission to a newer nine speed transmission. So it's even smoother with more fuel economy and quicker starts from a standing position. Last year on the six cylinder diesel engines, most users reported an average of around 20 miles per gallon. On the four cylinder diesel engine, on the standard model, you're looking at 24 as high as 27 miles per gallon. And these days with the high fuel cost, that's a big, big difference. And you're gonna save a lot of money with these new diesel engines. Even with the high output engine, you're still looking at fuel economy that's gonna average 24, 25 miles per gallon on the high end and still have plenty of towing capacity 
All sprinters can tow 5,000 pounds right out of the box. And our big dually vans that you're used to, 7,500 pounds towing capacity. Available for 2022 in limited numbers is still the turbocharged gas engine sprinter. Now that one has the same horsepower, 208 horsepower, as the high output four cylinder diesel, but it's fueled on, on premium gas. A lot of drivers prefer that, and it will be available on select models for most of this year. The Mercedes-Benz Sprinter vans are the number one choice when it comes to conversions. Whether it's a camper van, a weekender, motorhome, even a mobile medical office or dog grooming center, the Sprinter vans are the way to go. This particular one that I'm standing next to is one of the very first 2023s that was ordered with conversion in mind. So this one does have a lot of really great features. Right here, this one has the power sliding door. There's also an available power step. Push a button, the door can open and close. And you can do that at the door, on the dashboard, or even with your key fob. In addition to a power sliding door, this one was ordered with swivel front seats, a very popular option. For both the driver's seat and the passenger seat, they can swivel around backwards. If you're doing a conversion where you're adding a dining table or additional seating, you can have a little conference room area right there. With the high roof Sprinter vans with six feet, four inches of clearance, there's plenty of space to put in uh, cabinetry, big screen TVs, anything you can dream of. And if you're looking for a van conversion, we have many vendors available that can build anything you can dream of. Let me know what you need and I'll get you the quote. Whether you're choosing the cargo van with two seats, the Sprinter crew van with five seats, or the passenger models with 12 or 15 seats, you don't have to skimp on the amenities. This particular cargo van has a lot of the top end electronics packages. Uh, these have been very, very popular. For example, you have power heated folding side mirrors with blind spot sensors. You have uh, electrically adjustable front seats and the front seats do recline all the way back. If you're on a long road trip and you need to pull over and take a little nap, these will lay right back down into a bed. Uh, you also have three levels of heat and three position memory. On the steering wheel, and this is the standard Mercedes-Benz steering wheel design, all the buttons and controls on the left are for your driver information pod, buttons on the right for your color infotainment system. On this one, you have the automatic Distronic cruise control, very popular. All you have to do is set the distance that you want between you and the vehicle in front of you, and the vehicle will speed up and slow down with the flow of traffic. On the right side, you have your buttons and controls for the infotainment system, which on this one includes satellite radio, navigation, and Bluetooth. Uh, you also have a, new, a redesigned dash with cell phone holders, so you don't have to use your cup holders to hold your cell phone. And as I mentioned earlier, this one does have the power electric sliding door. So there's a button right here between the cup holders. On the 10 and a quarter inch screen, you have all the features that you could want. AM FM stereo with Bluetooth, Sirius XM satellite radio. And you also have at the touch of a button, you have your uh, color backup cameras, which are adjustable. This one features the 360 degree camera system, which allows you to see all sides of the vehicle when you're backing or parking into a tight spot in addition to parking sensors that'll beep as you approach the wall. You also have navigation, which has three different views, and AM, FM stereo, as I mentioned. In addition to being a touch screen, just like your iPod or cell phone, it's also uh, available with voice command. So for example, you can tell it what radio station to tune to. You can also dictate an address for the navigation system. It'll pop up on the screen, take you right there. The 2023 Sprinter models all come with Mercedes Me Connect. It's a system that allows you to connect to a live operator for roadside assistance or for emergency services where you at the touch of a button, they can track you and find you even if you're out in the forest or out in the desert in the middle of nowhere. These safety features are standard with your Sprinter. The 2023 Sprinter vans are available with both rear wheel drive or the all wheel drive system. The 4x4 push button system is going away, but the all wheel drive system, now you have a nine speed transmission that's super smooth. If you only need rear wheel drive, 
Uh, that would be a vehicle that's available and the price point is of course lower than the all-wheel drives. The same family of vans that we've had for many years. All of the 2023 Sprinter vans come with a full three-year, 36,000-mile comprehensive coverage on everything, in addition to five years, 100,000 miles on the engine, transmission, and driveline. Extended warranties are available, of course. Last but not least, these new four-cylinder diesel engines require less maintenance. Your typical service interval is every 20,000 miles, or now once every two years instead of once a year. That's a long time to go between service intervals if you're not driving a lot, but if you're doing over 20,000 miles a year, we do offer extended service programs and specials on prepaid maintenance. Hey, thanks again for watching this video on the latest lineup of 2023 Sprinter vans. If you're in the Riverside area, come and see Walter's Mercedes-Benz Van Center. We're at 7979 Auto Drive at the Riverside Auto Center.